guys, Tim Gore here. I'm at Createx Colors. I want to talk to you a little bit about my Bloodline Adhesion Promoter. This is something that we came up with uh, for latex masks, other flexible substrates. So it helps the adhesion of your paints. It helps keep from peeling, uh, delamination. It, it'll take care of all those little problems. So what we do, take a little of this, get her in the old spray gun, and we'll, we'll spray a couple light coats. Oh, make sure the, the surface of anything you paint is properly prepped. You want it to be clean, don't handle it like I am. Keep you know, your greasy uh, hands or any dirt and grime off of it. You want to clean your surface with appropriate cleaning methods. And then you're ready to go, dry surface. So we'll get a little of this, pour it in our gun, and we'll just shoot a light coat straight away. You'll see it kind of get wet, a little gloss to the surface, tell you it's on there because it's, although it's white in the bottle, in this uh, light spray, it's a little bit clear. So we'll just throw a little bit of this on there. Yeah, spraying's only one way to apply this what I like to do other times, sometimes spraying's uh, not, not doable. Take some of this, pour it in a little cup. This, this is tacky when it's dried. It has a little bit of tack and that's what grabs both sides. It'll grab the paint side and the surface side. All right, so we'll take just a hunk of sponge. Make sure it's a clean sponge, not something you've used for other things. We'll just take it, dabble it in here. So you just got, you're not dripping a bunch of stuff all over it, you just dab it off and we just stipple it. You want to give it a little pressure and you can just apply this stuff nicely and even. Now sometimes with the sponge you want to make sure it's not a sponge that's going to crumble and get little bits of sponge stuck all over it, of course. That's why we don't really use a paintbrush to apply it. You could if you had one that wouldn't lose bristles because they'll become embedded in the glue or the adhesion promoter, which is sort of a glue. It's a, it's a primer glue adhesion promoter, you know, adhesion. So we're going to stipple some of these areas where you got ears or whatever difficult little areas. You can squish some in there. You know, oops, don't do that. All right, we're going to work some of that in there. And, and it's that simple. All right, and what you're going to have later, we'll get a couple of little drippy areas where I over applied, you know, nice little even coating. You're going to let this dry or you can force dry it. At this point before it's thoroughly dry, double check no lint's gotten on it or any floating particles. And you can force dry it with a little uh, heat gun or uh, a hair dryer is probably more appropriate. You don't want to boil it. You don't want it to bubble, get too hot. And then you'll start seeing a little adhesion. Now if it doesn't feel tacky enough, put a little more on, spray a little more on. You don't want to saturate it where it's just pouring off of it. That's not the point. Just like when you paint, you don't dribble it all over. So you just get a nice even tack on this thing and you're good to go. I'm going to start applying some of my Tim Gore's Bloodline or illustration, Illustrator colors, whatever. And then you'll be, you're ready to go. And there it is. All right. Tim Gore at Createx Colors. Thanks for watching. Bye.